Hello students and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about Kudiyattam, the traditional Sanskrit theatre of Kerala on Abhinay or acting. Kudiyattam is mainly based on four forms of Abhinaya, Satvik, Angik, Vachik and Aharya. Although all forms have been provided an equal status, the Satvik is considered the prime amongst them. Actors of Kudiyattam are provided special training to perform the Satvik Abhinaya successfully. Abhinaya for Kudiyattam is highly conventionalized and to a great extent follows the percepts of Natya Shastra. Abhinaya literally means to lead forward. The mode of conveying the moods of the character to the audience is Abhinaya. It can be in the following ways. Chaturvid Abhinaya, the fourfold Abhinaya. Angik Abhinaya, bodily acting. In Angik Abhinaya, the actor communicates the meaning to the spectator through the natural movement of the human body to angas, limbs and upanga, sublings. Angik Abhinaya, bodily acting in Kudiyattam is based on the Kerala text Hastalakshana Deepika. Mudras, the hand gestures. The mudras are like the alphabets in language. Kudiyattam has 24 hasta mudras or hand gestures described in the Hasta Lakshana Deepika. Mudras have a proper beginning, expansion and end. The mudras should be accompanied by suitable bhava, the spatial expression. For example, Rudra for demon, Velar for king. There are four kinds of mudras. Samyukta or the combined, combined form using both hands that is sword, hair, anger. A Sanyukta, non-combined, only hand is used, example, sky, hunger, body. The third, Mishra or the mixed, mixed mudras using both hands, example, play, father, teacher. Fourth, Samanam or the similar, some mudras to convey different meanings, example, Asura near Samya. The basic mudra, Pataka, Mudrakyam, Katakam, Mushti, Kattari Mukham, Sukutambam, Kapitam, Hastapaksham, Shikharam, Hamsayam, Anjali, Ardhachandran, Mukuran, Brahmanam, Suchi Mukham, Pallavam, Tri Patakam, Murugashirakam, Sarpasari, Vardhamakulam, Aralam, Urnambham, Mukulam, Katakakulam, Chari. A chari is a movement with one foot. Because of the performance from both the feet, it becomes extended movement. The combined movement of the hip, the feet, the leg up to the knee, the ankle, the thigh, the waist is Padma Vinyas, which is called Chari. In Kudiyattam, each mudra in every occasion demands a specific foot movement, specifically in Kudiyattam, a dance movement on the stage with a set pattern, a diagonal movement has done four times facing the four directions and completing a turn which is called Chari. In addition to Aswastha Bheda, kinds of status, position, rasa and katha patram, character, there is also the gati bhed, the kinds of gati, foot movement, which is called chari. In Kudiyattam, every character has own specific chari. In Kudiyattam, the foot movement for elephant, monkey, etc. are well defined. Even there is a specific gait for the drunkard. Through this overacting and underacting can be regulated. These are four types as mentioned below. Gates and foot movement of some special characters, Kathapatram, Dhirodatta Nataku, Vatatit, 
नाटकाकु एक्सेट्रा बहुमचारी गेट ऑन द अर्थ और ग्राउंड कला काव्यदम कोन्नटुचारी एक्सेट्रा आकाशचारी गेट इन स्पेस और एरियल अंबारयम मेयू एक्सेट्रा सम स्पेसिफिक मूवमेंट परिक्रमा नृतम एक्सेट्रा वाचिक अभिनय और वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन इन कुडियटम वाचिक बी इट प्रोज और वर्ड्स इज प्रेजेंटेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर स्वरा कैडेंस द साउंड पैटर्न ऑफ चाक्यार हैज नो कॉरस्पॉन्डेंट टू रिचुअलिस्टिक साउंड नॉर इज इट मेन टू हैव एनी रिजेम्बलेंस द कैरेक्टर्स इन कुडियटम एक्सप्रेस देर इमोशन not by emoting the mode of the speech in real life on the other hand the musical style in kodiyattam enhances the rasabhinaya of the actor through the medium of vachika with the powerful exploitation of the technique of suggestion there are five kinds components of vachika abhinaya vocal acting verbal communication un kodiyattam swaratil sholuka special rendering of sanskrit prakrit dialogue granth text in plays which is unique to kudiyattam while uttering the sanskrit prakrit dialogue each word is uttered very slow syllable by syllable this kind of rendering is similar to mantrochar but not entirely similar to the rigvedic or the yajurvedic traditions of chanting shlokas though they do have similarities to each other in the rigved and yajurveda tradition anudatt uddatt and swarita notes are used during shloka chanting in samaveda five or six kinds of note are used instead and contain the element of music the rendering done by chakyar is known as swarathil sholuka and it occupies a position between the rigved yajurvedic and samvedic tradition it sets them apart from human characters akita and durva songs nangyar sings the invocatory shlokas that are a special kind of vocal music and it can be included in vachika abhinaya nandi shlokas may also be included in it such singing of shlokas by nangyar is extremely different from the shlokas rendering by chakyars mizavu vadan the nambyars mizuvi vadan is also a kind of vachik shravya abhinay as mizavu also has a separate thought or tonality vidushaka vidushaka speaks in local language malayalam he first speaks his own words in prakrit and then its sanskrit chaya is given this is followed by a malayalam rendering at times amounting to detailed explanation elucidating the suggested ideas in the original specific swaras or ragas in kodiyattam for vachik abhinay several swaras ragas are used to suit different characters rasas time situation description of nature the following shlokas and table illustrate the swaras ragas and their description as used in kodiyattam swaras and ragas description swara or raga indalam normally used by dhirodhatta nayak sometimes by madhyam patras lesser or secondary nayak like lakshmana also used by arjuna in presence of draupadi cheti pancham for madhyam patras like kanchukya chettis for niche patras children use this alone antari for kavi vakya for telling of stories narrating vela dhuli in perplexed condition indicates fear when a message is shouted to someone standing far away bhinna pancham in extreme joy sambhog shringara shri kamara in unexpected joy artan in shringara paurali in shringara morchana it is also in vipralambha morchana muddan in shringar sambhog specially shringar of rakshasa murali dala 
श्री रामस नॉर्मल संभोग श्रृंगार कैशिकी इन हास्य एंड विभित्स तरकन इन रुद्र वीर तरकन इन वीर दुख गंधार फॉर दुख एंड शोक भाव दानम फॉर अद्भुत एंड भय घटटंतहारी इन न्यूज ऑफ डेथ ऑफ दुष्ट पात्र तोंडू इन भक्ति एंड शांत भाव कोर कोरंजी नॉर्मल फॉर मंकीज पोरनीर डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ रेनी सीजन श्रीकांति इज यूज एट द एंड ऑफ द एक्ट is also used in killing of dushta patra for the description of sunset and moon satvik bhava manifestation of internal feeling the satvik abhinay in full is found only in kodiyattam because satvik abhinay involves three things while angik vachik and aharya constitute the anya moksha or a sthula aspect among the panchakoshas the satvik consist of sukshma subal which has three parts pranam life breath or pranayam kosha the pranayam koksh comes into play by the actor controlling life breath by inhalation exhalation and compression at various part of the respiratory system for giving life to the expression of various emotions actions and speech this is very delicate and dangerous system of breathing which has to be practiced under very strict surveillance manas the mind or manomayoksha the manomayoksha comes into play in action of mind which consists in superimposition of a bhava or mental creation endless bhava or imagination mental creation is a speciality of kodiyattam how ravana and shanku karna create kailasa mountain before our mind's eye is to be experienced and mental creation is superior to human creation divya manasthiti vigyanam wisdom or vigyan maya kosha in respect of imagination bhavana the great heights to which the chakya takes you from the text to cover a single monologue of the third act of bhasas pratigna yug yugandharanam 38 nights for a monologue such great bhavana is controlled by vigyanamaya kosha which renders these extensive travels and great flight of imagination relevant aharya abhinaya extraneous kodiyattam consists mainly natya dharmi and stylized aharya but for some characters loka dharmi is also used costumes and ornaments the costumes and ornaments in kodiyattam is designed not for individual characters but for the common characteristics represented by these characters which is much simpler with more of suggestive quality properties and handheld properties in kodiyattam many handheld objects as a property are not used in realistic manner but used in a stylized manner although many such properties are also used in a realistic manner in subhadra dhananjayanam arjun enters with a bow and arrow lakshmana enters with a sword in shurpankhanam etc makeup according to the character traits facial makeup is classified as pacha type green pacha is used for characters such as who has royal but gentle noble characteristics such as shri ram lakshmana vibhishan arjun etc katti type with a mooch tat resembling an inverted knife katti represents royal and haughty treading the evil path characters such as ravana duryodhan etc tadi type beard tadi is a demonic character or characters representing animal traits tadi has different color patterns according to the character traits and quality 
the word tadi is used for the beard black beard sugriva red beard bali white beard hanuman pazuku type light red pazuku is used for kings of magnanimous nature dhirodhatta characters such as sutradhar rishi kumara samvaranan etc meenuku type such as female roles stree vesham narada suta jambav etc kari type of black such as shurapankha no one can possibly imagine shri ram dushyant nala arjun and such other characters in costume and makeup prescribed in kodiyattam all the time but it is to be understood that the preceptors of kodiyattam took into account of inner characteristics swabhava of these puranic heroes while fixing the costume and makeup in the code for them and thereby made enjoyable acting even more effective in this manner it is clear that in kodiyattam the costume and makeup of the characters of kodiyattam are of natya dharmi orientation and those in natya shastra are of lok dharmi presentation abhinaya prakar modes of acting pattinatam it is by standing in some hast normal basic posture that pattinatam is enacted in pattinatam the actor is in a stationary position with the feet kept closely together and only the body movement the rasas shringara love karuna sorrow etc and the normal stances of noble characters are presented in this way irunatam this is performed in virasana according to the differences in the character abhinaya is done sitting on the seat at the time of acting he gets up irunatam is also performed to portray an unhappy mood with the character sitting on the ground the sorrow of shri ram and ravana is enacted sitting on the ground ilaki natyam in this one leg is in forward position and one leg in backward the rasas veer or velar raudra or terror and adbhut and adbhuta wander a portrait in this manner in ilaki natyam the actor has the freedom to indulge in all kinds of projections of body including movement and jumping and this is also an occasion for the actor to depict elaborate action such rich amalgamation of all four forms of acting has also been the focal point in naming the art kutti to join atam that comprises all four forms of acting together itself makes it kudiyatam kutti to join atam the four forms of acting combines it to kudiyatam it involves using the imagination to draw the audience attention to the reality it's its perceptions are both strange and intricate the stage conventions and artifices kodiyattam is unique dramatic form founded on bharat muni's natya shastra and developed in a free style based on natya shastra's dramaturgy in the performance of this art its proponents emphasizes the natya dharmi aspect rather than the lok dharmi aspect and also adopt new ways new codes new devices techniques new conventions and principles special stage techniques and effects for appeasing our outer vision kodiyattam provides for certain astonishing scenes on stage and some of these astonishing possibilities in kodiyattam neenam anikal in the sur panakhanam of the ascharya chudamani the scene where lakshmana deforms shurpankha is staged in a realistic manner she appears with blood oozing from her nose ears and breast 
The blood for this scene is prepared by mixing lime, rice paste, turmeric and the tender leaves of coconut trees immersed in blood make the mangled organs. The slow approach of red splattered orgas wailing loudly with faltering step through the midst of the audience to the accompanist of pantam and teli and the loud drumming create the impression of heavy bleeding and tortuous pain evoking both awe and revulsion in the mind of the spectator. Though that Sanskrit text refers only to the cutting of a nose and ears, Chakyas have added the cutting of a breast also. Paramkum Kuttu Flying Dance In Paramkum Kuttu, for operating the Kuttu near the temple, a specific ground, Kuttu Parampu, is concentrated and a canopy, Vantala, rose and suspended from a broad approximately 42 coal. In the form of Garuda, Chakyar has a beak, a tail, a wing and so on bone at specific spots of his body. 1001 rupees are conjoined by the Nambiyas standing on the roof controls him pulling and loosening the ropes. This creates the effect of Garuda flying or descending. He descends and opens his beak, also controlled by the Nambiyat, lifts Jimutavahan, a red cloth, and ascends flying into the sky. In this acting, the life of the Chakyar is actually in the hands of the Nambiyar. This was the staging of the fourth act of Nagananda, where Garuda actually comes down from the sky. Ozukal, flowering. This is a scene from Tapti Samvarna where the Naika jumps into the river. It is said that the river was to be made of thousands of string kept highly in a horizontal way. The Nangyar who took the role of Naika had to move as if she was flowering in river. Such thing could be staged even without the help of string. Naika jumps into the river and is swept away by the current which is also an astonishing sight. Long sheets of white cloth, pavaitta, are used to create the effect of a river. When Nangyar jumps on it and comes under, it looks like she is being swept away. Hanging scene. In the form of Nagananda, where the Naika, Malayavati, tries to commit suicide by hanging herself. A ring is made of cloth and is hung from above. Naika stands on Peetham and catching the ring with her hand, jumps, keeping the neck near the string. She comes down turning round and round with the help of the proper facial expression. This scene is very effective on stage. Some special conventions in different acts. Ashok Vanikam In Ashok Vanikam, in the palace of Sita, just a lamp is lit and placed. Swapnakam in the Swapnakam, all the accessories for sleep in Samudra Griha, including Bhadradeep, a lamp with gentle light, camphor, fragment spoke, a fountain device, and syrotherapy equipment are used. Jatayuvadham, split stage. In Jatayuvadham, a second stage similar to the split stage is built for the bird character of Jatayu. Kakshiya Vibhag or the zonal division. A characteristics created by Bharat Muti, Kakshiya Vibhag, zonal division is used in Kudiyattam. In Shurapankhankam, Rama and Sita go to see the Paranakutir built by Lakshmana. This change of place is suggested by Rama's Parikrama, circumambulation. It is also suggested using another practice. When a character starts to leave, it is assumed that the action at that place has ended and when that or another character enters, it is assumed that a new local is in effect. In classical Sanskrit theatre based on Bharata's Natya Shastra, this practice was in vogue. Sometimes oral and sometimes bombadilly acting is employed to suggest change of local too. Climbing atop the Kashthasan Peetham and looking down also suggests a local high above the ground level. 
role of women or female characters. In the most of the Indian traditional theater, like Yakshagan, Bhavai, etc., men take the role of women. But women held an honorable position in Kuriyattam. It is women who took the roles of female characters. In addition to taking female roles, they used to sit on the stage, render shlok, and keep rhythm with symbols. In addition to Abhinaya, along with men in the play, they also have the solo dance which is called Nayanar Kuttu. Lok Dharmi and Natya Dharmi. It is difficult to clearly define Natya Dharmi and Lok Dharmi styles. It may be said in general that stylized acting, codified stage conventions and artifices are Natya Dharmi. On the other hand, Loka Dharmi imitates things and events that are to be described as in the ordinary. If the Hasta Mudra and Chari of monkey are shown, it becomes Natya Dharmi. But the movement of monkey, Vanara Sthobha, shown are Loka Dharmi. The presentation will be pleasant only when both are blend harmoniously. At the time of Nirvahanam, in Kuriyattam, special use of Natya Dharmita is made. The entry of a lion, the fleeting of a deer, the construction of Paranakuti, etc. are only suggested through stylized, symbolic, suggestive Mushrabhinaya gestures. These are examples of Natya Dharmita. While the laughter-provoking mimicry, comic relief of Rama by Shurpankha, her ninam bloody bodied makeup, realistic props, dialogues and her bodily gestures, movement after her nose and breast are chopped off by Lakshmana and so on are examples of Lok Dharmita. To sum up, it appears that the theatric conventions of Kuriyatam have their own distinctive characteristics and are not solely dependent on the postulates of the Natya Shastra. In matters of technique and presentation, Kuriyatam is more symbolic and inward looking, while Natya Shastra, yes, while Natya Shastra seems to offer a consciously developed theatric vocabulary that is at the same time concrete and explicit. Mm -hmm.